So now we're asked to assume that the rate generator has an efficiency of 75%. So the efficiency of the rate generator is the actual over the ideal, so it's going to be H5 minus H2 over H5 prime minus H2. And we know that when you have an ideal regenerator, temperature at 5 prime is equal to temperature at 4. If we use the um, air standard assumption, we can write this in terms of temperature. So it's going to be equal to T5 minus T2 over T4 minus T2. And we know it's going to be equal to 75%. Now we can solve for T5. So we know that T5 is going to be equal to uh, T2 plus 0.75% T4 minus T2. T2 is 595, 94 plus 75% times 595, 94, minus, no, this is T4. I messed up. Oh, T4 is going to be 675.05 minus 595.94. And this is going to give us a temperature at 5 of 655.27 kelvins. The work of the compressor and the work of the turbine won't change, but what is going to change is the heat input. Now the heat input is going to be equal to Cp T3 minus T5 from the combustion chamber. It's going to be equal to 1.004 kilojoule per kilogram per Kelvin. T3, 1,373 minus T5, which is fine. Kelvins, and it's going to give us a heat in of 720, 60 kilojoule per kilogram. And if we pl plug it back into our equation for thermal efficiency, it's going to be the work net, so the work of the turbine minus the work of the compressor, which we found in the previous part, over the heat in, assuming a 75% efficient heat exchanger, we're going to find it's going to be equal to 55.1%.